This video will focus on subtracting 10 from a two-digit number. Now, you recently, you just reviewed how to add 10 or multiples of 10 to a two-digit number on a hundreds chart. We will eventually get to subtracting 10 on a hundreds chart, but first we want to start off with some base 10 blocks. So today our focus will be on subtracting 10 from a two-digit number with base 10 blocks. So we're going to solve three problems, and then you're going to do some on your own. While we're doing this, I want you to focus on the pattern. What are some things that you notice? So first of all, I want to start with a, a T chart, and I want to label one side tens, and then one side ones, okay? Move that over just a little bit. All right, so 13 minus 10. So I want to represent 13. Now you can see that you have your ones and tens here. This is your hundreds and this is your thousand. I don't know if you've heard of the number 1,000 before, but that represents a, a, a thousand. You will not work with that until actually third grade. So we're going to kind of ignore the thousands right now and the hundreds and just use our ones and tens. So 13, we're going to represent 13 first. So 13, that's a 10 and three ones. All right, so I'm going to minus 10. So I'm going to take away 10. So I'm going to drag this 10 to my trash can right here, recycling bin, and it's gone. All right, so 13 minus 10, what does that give us? That gives us 3. Okay, 13 minus 10, 1, 2, 3 is left. So the difference of 13 minus 10 is 3. I want you to look at we started with 13 and then we ended with three. Look at the digit that's in the ones place here and here, and then what's in the tens place. Hmm, let's pay attention to that as we solve two more. All right, now we're going to solve twenty-two minus ten. All right, clear my board there. Twenty-two minus ten. So two tens and two ones. Now it says I'm going to subtract 10. So I'm going to take away one of the 10s. This is a 10. So I'm going to remove it. And you can see that I'm left with 10, 11, 12. So I will have a difference of 12. Now, once again, I want you to look at here's what we have left in our 1s from what we started with. And here's what we have left in our 10s from what we started with. All right, let's solve one more. I'm going to get rid of these, drag these over. If you decide to use this, one quick way you can get rid of yours is just to use this clear objects. Um, but I wanted to keep everything up here so we can look at patterns. So 31 minus 10. So I'm going to have three tens, one, two, three, and one, one. I'm going to subtract 10. So I'm going to remove a 10. And you can see that I'm left with 10, 21. Now looking here, you can see um, 31 minus 10 is 21. Now this is written different, this equation is written different than the others and that's okay. It just means whatever is on this side of the equal sign is the same as or equal to what's on this side. So you can write it either way. All right, so let's go back and look. This is how many ones we had left over from the 31 and this is how many tens, three tens to two tens. So if you notice, we went from 13 to three 22 to 12, and 31 to 21. So each time the digit in the ones place stayed the same, but the digit in the tens place, what happened? What are you noticing? Yes, you are correct. It went down by one 10 each time, okay? So now you're gonna try some of these on your own. You can use uh, this app here uh, to help you use that. When you get here to this app, you just click on manipulatives and choose the base 10 blocks. Good luck.